Hey guys, it's Hope. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup look. So this is what I would do if I go to school, if I'm just going to go in public on an everyday basis. Yes, I'll go in public with more makeup on on the weekends because I have more time to play around with makeup. But on a school day, I, I give myself about 20-ish minutes to do my makeup. And so I'm actually kind of slow when it comes to makeup. I get distracted. I sit in one for 10 minutes and I'm not like in a hurry. But like this is what I do pretty much on an everyday basis. It depends. Some days I just wear concealer, powder, brows, mascara. This is more of a day where if I feel like putting on a little bit more, I'll wear like a little bit of eyeshadow. Just more of a natural everyday look. So I figured I wouldn't want to just share with you what I do if I just wear concealer and bronze or powder, mascara and brows. Like I feel like that's, you guys can figure that out on yourself. Like that's not really much to show. That's why I'm deciding to do one with like foundation and stuff so I can kind of show you what products I've been using and yeah and I do know that I mean you guys do see my everyday makeup drawers I try to do those once a month so I do kind of give you a glimpse and I do repeat a lot of products like you're probably gonna guess what foundation I'm gonna wear but I still want to show you kind of what I do and if I do eyeshadow what I do so and I feel like this is helpful too because it gives you guys some ideas on products. So, without further ado, let's just hop right in and get started. So I usually do my face first, so I'm just going to take the Wet n Wild Beauty Primer. I actually have not used this primer in a while. I know, shocking. I probably just talked about it on my channel because a lot of videos I film are pre-filmed. But I really have been into using my NYX Hydro Touch lately, but I kind of want to try this primer with this foundation combo I've been using. I don't think I've tried it with a combo yet. And I'm also going to use pore primer on my nose so this is just going to go on my cheeks and my chin but I'll add a little bit of other primer to my chin and then I will take the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base this is just a um, lip primer and use a brush and try and scoop a little bit of this out because I don't feel like digging my nails in there and I've just kind of been using this on my nose just because I have a lot of pores on my nose a little bit on my chin foundation combo that I've actually been using a lot is the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation with the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. Just because I was a little bit tan at the beginning of the year, so I was just kind of trying to get a little darker just because I was tan, but now I'm pretty much the shade of this foundation. I have LW2 in this foundation. Um, I freaking love this foundation, and we'll talk about it until the day I die, because it is just amazing it is just my favorite it just looks so beautiful on the skin and i've noticed a lot of people that i watch love this foundation i'll just take like one pump not even a full pump of the covergirl one and honestly i'll take my fingers and i'll just kind of slightly blend it out with my fingers this is what i've been doing take a brush which is the BH Cosmetics 135 brush somebody commented I probably respond I haven't responded yet but I saw somebody comment on my video asking what brush I'm using I got this in a set but this is the BH Cosmetics 135 brush not sure if you can get this separate or not but I love this brush I use it all the time and I love a brush with this foundation for some reason I just like it a lot more and then I'll go in with my L'Oreal sponge or my Real Technique sponge, whatever one I have closest to me, and just kind of go over and make sure it's all blended in. I like to do this a lot of times when I use a brush because I just feel like the Beauty Blender really like just sinks it in the skin. Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I'm like all out of this shade in porcelain. I love this concealer. So then I also have the shade 20, which is be light beige. I'm probably going to have to purchase porcelain again. Actually, they have another shade too. I do have this Wet n Wild concealer that I'm just going to use too. A lot of times I'll use this one for blemishes on my chin. I don't necessarily like this right under my eyes. I like a sponge when I apply my concealer. But I don't like the new L'Oreal sponge. The old one is so much better. Thank you, Dad, for vacuuming while I'm filming. I just love it. Okay, there's a vacuum going in the background. You're just going to have to excuse that. I'm just going to take the Elf Finishing Powder in Light Medium. I know, you're shocked I'm not using the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Powder. Just wait. It's coming. So in my makeup use-up, I have this Elf Finishing Powder. So that's why I'm going to use that today. 
I've been trying to use it up and I actually really like this powder. I just have been so stuck on the stupid Maybelline Super Stay Better skin, but I still like to use this one like on my chin because it really just smooths it out. It adds a little extra coverage. This is Formula Butter Bronzer for bronzer. I change out my bronzers a lot. Cause I can just really bronze. And then I've actually honestly been into using this Benefit Dallas blush. Sometimes I don't use bronzer and sometimes I'll just use blush. And this Benefit Dallas has been my go-to because it's just like a nice warm up the face. You don't even need bronzer with this. You can just like go like this and put it in the, just be aggressive. And just put it in the hollows of your cheeks and kind of around your whole face. And there you go. Blend it out a little bit. Sometimes I'm feeling a two in one step. So I'll take a little bit of this Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush. Cause it's got like a shimmer and just like be precise of where I'm applying it. Cause then I'll get like a nice sheen on the face and then I can just get a two-in-one blush and highlight but don't get me wrong I love highlights so I do also like to go in with my Smash Smashbox Spotlight Palette. I change up highlights too. These aren't always the same products I use but these are like my favorites that I've kind of been using so that's why I'm kind of sharing these ones today but Obviously, I change it up if I get new products that I'm trying out. Right now, I'm really just trying to use products that I love, and I'm trying not to spend a lot on going out and buying and wasting money on products. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil. I ran out of my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and the Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. I ran out of both of them. This brow product is so dark because I usually do like blonde in my eyebrows, and this one's a lot darker, so to lighten it, I will use this Essence Make Me Brow, just a lighter brow gel, to apply. And I really like this brow pencil. It's just the shade is just too dark for me. Because I, I mean, it is kind of like my brow shade, but I also highlight my hair. So I like to go a little bit blonder when I fill in the brows, because my brows can get dark really fast. And then I'm just going to go in with the Essence Make Me Brow Gel in Blonde. This helps lighten them up, too. Not the brows are done and they're not looking that great, but we're just going to move on. I do prime my eyes with the CoverGirl Lid Lockup. I don't always use eyeshadow on an everyday, but I'll just wear eyeshadow today just to kind of show you what I do do if I do use eyeshadow. Now, I always change out my eyeshadow palettes. Today I'm just going to take the LA Girl Eye Luxe palette in the shade Urbanize, which is just like an all matte palette, and I'm just going to take the white cream white shade and just kind of set my lid. I'm just going to, a lot of times I'll take bronzer in my crease, but a lot of times I want a little bit more color and pigment. So I'm just like literally just, this is a Morphe M441 brush. Kind of fluffing this in very messily. If I feel like I want a little bit more, I'll take like one of the brown shades in this palette. I kind of mixed them just now. A lot of times I'm not going for a really warm look, so I'll take a little bit of a cool, mix it in with the cooler tone. I really like this quad. It's perfect for traveling too because I can just bring this and then a single shadow that I'm about to apply. Now I think I'm gonna take Amber Rush from L'Oreal just cause I love this shade so much. I'll take my finger a lot of times. Really pile it on. This is such a pretty shade. Do you see this? I'll take a little brush just to kind of get in the inner corner where I don't get with my finger. It is just so pretty and it's good for an everyday. And then I curl my lashes. My battery's gonna die. So I'll use a little bit of this Essence Volume Stylus on my lower lashes just because this is almost gone. So it's like kind of getting dried out and just like it's good for my lower lashes. And then I'll take Essence Lash Princess on the top. And I do really like this mascara for the top too, but I need to get a new one. So I'll take this one on top. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll let my camera kind of relax for a little bit and then I'll be back. All right, so this is the finished look. I don't usually do a lip product, so I guess you're gonna have to hear the vacuum again. I usually just use chapstick. I have this Milani Moisture Lock that I'm trying to use up. I don't, I mean, it's okay. It's kind of like a chapstick, it's like a lip oil. My lips are so chapped. I, I literally apply chapstick like 10 times a day, ask my friends. Actually, it's probably more than 10 times a day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what products you love to use down in the comments on an everyday basis because I would love to know. I'd love to try some of your guys' products and recommendations. And yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you stick around. 
I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.